Now you listen to me, listen to me real good. I've told you once, I said it a thousand times. You get out of those pagan, satanic, religious, Christian churches. Christians do not follow the commandments of the Bible. Christians do what they want to do. They make up their own laws, their own rules, and their own regulations. Come out of her, my people, and come out from among them. And it's real simple and easy to ascertain who are these people you need to come out from. Easy. Number one, if they keep Sunday, that's an automatic sign that you need to not have any fellowship with these commandment-breaking wicked deceivers and seducers and bewitchers of the truth. Simple. All right, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, all of Israel. We welcome each and every last one of you. Glad to have you here tonight. Hallelujah on blog. Talk radio with us. Of course, as usual, who knows? Uh, we really truly don't have nothing planned. I did write down a couple of uh, scriptures, though, but I have a, a perspective and a word I want to go at tonight to try to put a defibrillator on our mind against the think but. Y'all know the drill. You know the drill, man. Come on. Check check it out. If I'm coming in good, 10 is the best, one for the worst, let us know. It's important to be heard. Faith come by hearing, and hearing by the word of Almighty Yah, Elohim. Um, well, we um, still, to this day, we've got um, Straightway Wisconsin. Uh, the framing crew is still here, man. They on the tedious work now. It takes longer to do that work than actually to do the, the major work. And I might add, they're doing an excellent job. Ryan, you and Tristan and Ross, y'all doing an excellent job. Hallelujah. Excellent job. Man. Excellent job. I, I will say right now, we will probably be halfway. And that's wasting time. Literally, we'll be that far behind y'all. Y'all done such a, an excellent job, man. And I, I tell you, man, now that y'all done hit this roof up here, man, y'all just do about just about do anything now. Because y'all used to putting together them prefab manufactured trusses, right? Them damn stick frame. You see what tornadoes do to them damn things. No tornadoes ain't gonna do that to that house. That's old school framing right there. And it sure did put your mathematical skills to the test, though, didn't yeah, it? Absolutely. Yes, sir. You had a good plan, man. See, what Brother Ryan did is he, he came in during Pentecost, and he took the plans back to Wisconsin with him. And he studied those things meticulously. God showed me I said, Brother, this is extremely elaborate. It really, truly is. Um. <clears throat> He studied it, came up with a plan of attack. Everything worked just fine, worked well, man. They they do an excellent job. Elder Kabir is fortunate to have them. So we're gonna make sure we're gonna see if we we need to send Elder Kabir some some Israelites that will challenge his faith, man. You know what I mean? We need to send him some some people that need some help in their faith. And right now, Elder Kabir thinks the muscles tighten up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, but we're doing good. What y'all eating pizza? Shortbread pizza? Blueberries? Pineapple? Dang. I, I wanted people to actually come to blog talk to hear the blog talk. I believe they hear the blog talk. They also come for the food, too. The food's good, too. Ain't nothing wrong with that, is it? Hey, eat up. Eat all you can, man. Hey, love is a hospitality. <clears throat> glory, 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 glory to the king. Man, I'm so full of revelation truth right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold it in. Tonight. I'm trying to hold it in for tomorrow. Man, I got some zingers. 
Mm-hmm. You know, it's just from sitting there reading, reading the book, stuff. How many times y'all ever did that before? <clears throat> you read over a passage of scripture or a letter, and and then, but it wasn't until the preaching came. And then yeah. the preacher spout all of a sudden you understand. Oh, yep. Man, that thing been there all that time. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Sure. Now, yep. that word, we know what understanding means, but that word understanding is very unique. Because the book says that Yahshua, then he opened mm-hmm. their understanding. So you got to rewalk it and your understanding is open, you know who's opening it, right? Yes, the sir. scales just like fall from your eyes, and then you marvel and maze. You know how many times I probably read over that passage and never saw that? But then he says in Jeremiah 3.15, I will give you shepherds according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and what? Understand. But notice, he is the one that's doing the giving. Remember, every good gift comes from above, yes, sir. from the Father. So the Father, all glory to the Father, all exactly. praises to the Father. He's got a program, man, that all yes. of us seem to be participating in. Yes, and he definitely, you know, the father needs a whole lot more worship and praise yes, for what he's doing. Though, man. Yes, I'm telling you, he needs a hell of a lot more worship and praise for what he's doing. Because you think about, man, where we at today, man, and, and he's still dealing with us. In this time right now, in the midst of this wicked and perverse generation, he is still dealing with us. Praise God. Praise God. I'm not going to depress us no more by reading letters on the Sabbath, boy. There's some humdingers, man. Hallelujah. Uh-uh. 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 All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, did y'all see Whole Fast Wednesday? Yes. yes that was a good broadcast. Yes, that was a really good broadcast. Yes, y'all tell us sometime I get passionately upset, too. <laughs> that why, you know, we, we got to get to the point. The teacher get Deuteronomy 13. I ask us to read that man and go over that man. Go read Deuteronomy 13. Let's get Deuteronomy 13 here real quick. Um, but we need to start having this attitude. And that's that's an order for us to be able to guard ourselves. Yes, sir. Our hearts, our minds, our spirits, ourselves, our family. We need to be able to guard ourselves, man. Listen to what Yah says when he gave Moshe. The custodian of the law of Deuteronomy uh, 13, man. He's got a long list of people. Got, and we should take heed to it. I think the problem of today is that, number one, we didn't know who we were in the first place. Because this let you know, man, that all Israel, all of us have been in captivity. All of us have been in captivity. And you think about this. We grew up in this country right here. Now, you watch this. Do you know that the Babylonians didn't believe that they were pagans? They believed that they were worshiping the true true Yah. Right. Good point. Think about it. In every nation, they actually believe that they have the. Even though some of them have a plethora of deities, they believe they got the right way. The Assyrians, man, you can't you could not convince them that they did not worship the one true God of the universe. Think about it. Then you look at you look at Christianity, which we all have been affected by, and we still got some of the residue of that mess on us. Yes, sir. When you really truly look at Christianity, they ain't worshiping God, Yah Elohim. They're not worshiping Jesus. They're not. They're not worshiping. They're not even worshiping the created universe. This is such a false religion. It's, and you know what's crazy about it? Until you hear somebody speak about it. And when you hear them talk about it, they actually believe and think that Elohim rejected his people to receive them. They believe that. They teach that. Hook, line, and sinker. Even though you never hear any of the apostles say it, you never hear none of the prophets. And here's the kicker right here. The book is a history about one group of people called Israel. And you'll watch these people, well, you'll listen to these people 
They'll call Abraham a Jew. But you see how nonsensical that is, right? Yes, sir. You can't read nowhere in there. That, but see, people have been so used to hearing this lie for so long, it's become the truth. They've been used to hearing it so long, there's no way that he can't be a Jew because he's always been a Jew. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. They even say Moses was a Jew. They even said that all the all the, the Israelites that were in bondage in Egypt were all Jews. Mm -hmm. As we stand here and look at the so-called 66 books of the King James Version, between the first time, but from the beginning in Genesis, all the way to Malachi 2, Bet Malachi 2, Kings, where Jew is first mentioned, there were more books included in between there. You know, Joshua was in there. Enoch was in there. But you wouldn't know it just by looking at these books. Who else? Who knows how many other books? I mean, the Ethiopian version of the Bible has 81 books. So how does the English translation have 66 and the Ethiopic version has 81? What happened to all the rest of these books? <clears throat> now we have the ability in the age of information to have everything in front of us we can click on the information highway and just go about anywhere and get any all the information you want you don't even have to know how to speak the original language because you got so many programs blue letter bible and everything you can click on the word and it will give you the pronunciation and the meaning all you have to do is just study, like the book says. Yes. Do your own due diligence. And you can know just as much as anybody else can. So I said, well, hey, you got to speak the language. We speak the language, and we still don't understand the language. Who in the hell really truly understand English? <laughs> every other language, you have one word for everything. We got one word that's got three different meanings. Right. Two. There. Yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. No. No what? <laughs> and you go to another country, you try to talk. The way we talk to other people from other countries is like going to our court system. It makes some sense. They speak in this dog Latin and English over there, and it just don't make no sense whatsoever at all. You're like, what did you just say? Bam! Guilty. I didn't say a damn thing. <laughs> damn, I, mean, I didn't even incriminate myself when I'm guilty. And you're guilty because you contracted with them, not because wow. you did anything wrong. Come on, that's true. That's true. And this is supposed to be the, the miracle of Yah. You can't find in the Torah. And let me tell you something, man. Yahshua did not come to do away with the Torah. Neither did the prophets. And anybody that speaks against the Torah is Antichrist. That's right. Anti-Messiah. Because everything flows from the Torah. That's right. Everything flows from the law. The prophets spoke from the law. Yeah. Yahshua constantly referred to the law. Yeah. The apostles. Paul spoke so much about the law. It's ridiculous, and yet they still twist his words. You don't see, even in the English Bible, you can go the whole entire what they call Old Testaments and the Gospels, and you don't even get to the book of Acts until you see the first word that they inserted in there called Christian. Mm -hmm. So how the hell all of a sudden they become the people of a book when they ain't never been the people of the book? Oh, yeah. They tell you, the Torah teaches us, listen, 
Don't you go down and bow down to wood and stone. What does Christianity got? What is the cross? Wood. But see, you, you divorce yourself from truth. And you see that little cross image that they tell you that they done made something divine out of. And they don't even look like the cross that actually Messiah was crucified on anyway. And it's wood. And you said, but you don't even think you bow down to it. You're so religious that you'll make all these relics and kissing crosses and Oh, I can't speak enough about white Jesus. White faggot Jesus sitting up there on your wall. Blue-eyed faggot. Sitting up there, yeah. Oh, come slap the shit out of your ass. And then you would hear me if you come from a Christian mind say, Oh, my God. Oh! And I'm up there doing the same thing to you. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. And you think that I'm being sacrilegious or, or, or you think I'm I'm actually speaking against the most high himself. I got more intelligence than that. The, this, the apocrypha said that you would turn around and, and take and paint your images. We have been some dumb people, but after we can't be dumb no more. We can't be dumb no more. So you can read, even in the English version, you can read the law, the prophets, the Old Testament, and even the words of Messiah, and you will never hear them talk one bit about no Christians. True. <clears throat> and yet it's the largest religion in the world. Think about this now. Like I told you, hey, if you were Satan, you can't beat them. What do you do? Join you join them. them. And they won't even know you joined them. And now instead of singing the songs of Zion, you're singing chestnuts roasting on an open fire. La 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 dee. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are all in the night. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Who in the hell is Merry Christmas? And yeah, what is so merry about it when during that time of the year the majority of the people in your nation kill themselves? Mm -hmm. Suicide rate, Satan. Satan, man, he be man. He got a high attrition rate, don't he? Then people be checking out hard, brother. And you can sit there and talk to your mama, your daddy, your grandmama, your grandpa. This truth, and they're so deluded on a strong delusion that they will cuss you out, divorce you from the family for telling this truth. Hey, we got wives leaving their husbands because of this truth. So the words of Messiah rings true. You shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. You, you, you'd have never known it would be like that. You'd have never known. You'd have never, ever known it. You know what Satan hating right now, though? What's that? So... I was talking to Pastor Muir earlier. And um, I said, Pastor, think about this. And I said, boy, it sure would have been nice if I'd have been able to start this when I was 20 years old. But y'all does everything in the fullness of time, right? Sure. 20 years old. I said, so let's go 20 years. All the children that are 10 years old will be 30. Mm -hmm. Just with us. They are reared and raised in the admiration of God. They know the truth about paganism. They know the truth about Christianity. They know the truth about all this false satanic stuff that's presenting itself as if it's the truth. They don't have it. They would not have no problem with the culture that we're teaching, the heritage that we're teaching, the way that we're teaching, that's the right. way of life. We, they, they'll be already immersed in it. Yes, sir. 
They won't even have to sit there and like some of you people. Well, I just need some time yeah. to come to truth. Let me tell you how much time it took me to come to the come truth. On, yeah. come on. It took one word of repentance. Ooh. That's all. It didn't take me that long at all. That's good. I don't need all that. Yeah. The scale fell from my eyes and showed me truth. I'm good. Yeah. Yes, that's right. It didn't take me all that. Ooh. I need to come to it. Come on. Mm. Shit. That's good. Huh? Come on. You think about that. Hallelujah. They'll be 30 years old. The children that are 15 years old be 35 years old. The children that are 20, they'll be 40 now then. The ones that are born today be 20. They'll be grown adults. We will have a whole nation Come just on. within ourselves. Look at all the little children we got running around right now, yeah. man. They will know what is they would look the Come law on. tells us you need to teach your family. What's right and wrong, yes, good and yes, evil, yep. and make a difference. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. They will grow up in this way knowing yes, sir. good from evil, right and wrong. They will know the truth. And I, yep. and then go 40 years in case the Messiah don't come. Man, by then, we, we should probably be at 100,000 strong. Yes, sir. Y'all get this? Yeah. That's why the system fight us so hard. Mm -hmm. Been 60 years, man. We'll be a half a million people. Ooh. Half a million people. Like huh? Think about that. Mm -hmm. Within 100 years, if it's like, and I don't think it's going to go that long, but let's say we went 100 years and people stayed close to this troop right here and didn't do like the kings of Israel. Come on, sir. You got one righteous king, then you got a wicked ass son. And then all the wicked ass people descended from him and they all go on a certain false god. So let's suppose that they realize this, they get this. Man, within a hundred years, man, we'd probably be ten million strong. Come on, man. First of all, the world hates that shit because number one, politically, that's too much clout. Yes, sir. We could be sitting up here and living in these townships <laughs> and providences and have the majority of the people. We could be the mayor, we could be the sheriff, we could be the police department. Mm -hmm. That's right. We could change the school system in the whole counties and make everybody keep the Sabbath. That's true. Ain't no football games on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> See, that, they, these children of the world is wild in children of life. They know exactly what's going on. That's why they have to try to press us with lies and their laws. Because when you get somebody like me talking like it, that's too, it's giving them too many ideals. That's right. Somebody going to hear that. And then yeah. somebody in the next generation is going to be inspired. They're yeah. going to take this and run with it. Yeah. They can't have that, man. Hmm? They fortunate, man, that the most high y'all don't give us years like he did with, with um uh, Abraham. Boy, could you imagine what we bit? Y'all hear this? This is yes, real sir. power right yes, here. Yes, sir. Yes. That's good. And then by that time, if you follow what Pastor Dallas taught you as I've learned it from y'all, you know how many lands we will own and don't have to pay? We're working on no taxes right now. But how many lands we would own and how many homes we will own and nobody pay no mortgage? And if everybody didn't grow up selfish as hell and stuff, grow up righteous, Come we on, could sir. keep on bringing that money in, expanding the lands and shit. shit. We, may even, we may even own a whole state after 100 years. Hallelujah. They scared of that. That's real power. That's what's really going on. That's the only reason why that the state and everybody is against polygyny. That's right. They don't give a damn whether yeah. you practice or not. They don't give a shit if you practice whoremongering. Right. They don't give a damn if you practice adultery. Come on. Man. Yeah. Wake up, Israel. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Your pastor know what he's talking about. They scared the death of it. You ain't got to worry about it. Let the wicked keep practicing all these alternative lifestyles. They're going to breed each other out of, way, out of existence. They're going to go get the predators from the wicked people and they ain't going to have no more children and stuff. And we're going to still be like it, like the Israelites in Goshen, man. Keep on being prolific and raise up. Right. You got all these wicked seed. Now y'all raise up righteous seed. You keep the commandments in there. On, Satan going to be like, oh, shit. Well, we got to yeah. do something about this, man. Come on, this is crazy. Come on. Yeah. And you people out there struggling with righteousness. Mm. Wow. This is the way we need to be walking in. Yes, sir. Uh, you ain't gonna get Gino Jennings or none of these 
charlatans out there in these churches oh. preaching that because they're too damn selfish. They want to be in the city on, wearing their penguin suits. <laughs> Talking about elementary doctrine. Mm. As if they're giving you some type of profound truth. By the way, Jen is a coward, man. He's still running. He's out there on the internet. No, he's, de he's debating rappers and every damn body else that don't know shit, but he knows he, he, he boy, he sure did put them high heels on and ran for Pastor Dow, though, did he? <laughs> huh? He got them stilettos or st what do you call staccato stilettos? Or he got them, st what do you, how you pronounce this shit? <laughs> Stiletto, he got them stilettos on, man. That's him right. him and Williams. Click, 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 click. That's right. Told you, Tony Harvin, man, I'll get in the ring with your ass. At 57 years old, I'll get in the ring with you. But, oh, wait. You used to box. I got a little bit of experience. I, I, I ain't did nothing. <laughs> now bring that left hook around that corner, boy, and send your neck all the way over to the ringside. <laughs> That's it. You're going to be like, damn, I got hit by an anvil. <laughs> that man got something in his glove. Take his glove. <laughs> but anyway, you know what I'm talking about, man. All these people be talking all this mess, man. They talk a bunch of crap, man. You know what I mean? But back to the subject matter at hand, which I hadn't forgot. I'm just trying my best. I'm trying my best to just shed light on Israel. Y'all need to hear these words and don't let these things slip, though. Yes, sir. Because this is the vision. This is the dream. Yes, sir. You're going to read the law and read the prophets. Y'all intended for us to be lights to the nations, to teach the nations his ways. And we failed because we wanted to be like the nations. Yep. We done, instead of being the other way around, now we want to be like, man. Oh, and I'm going to tell you right now, those of us that are righteous in this generation, we'd have been righteous in that generation too because it's the spirit that y'all give us. Don't y'all make no mistake about it. We wouldn't have set them bitter them damn lies like everybody else made because y'all put a spirit inside of us. Ain't no way in hell. He's always had a righteous written in the seat. Even in the midst of Babylon. Yep. And Persia, he always had a right to see. So don't think, if you were righteous now, you would have been righteous then. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. We would have been singing the same old cadence. Come on. That's right. Because we're the remnant, we're the seed of y'all. Praise y'all. Y'all getting this? Yes, sir. This is us, man. Yes, sir. Man, I tell you what, man. I'm gonna give y'all one, man. I'm thinking about giving y'all a nugget, man. I'm thinking about it. I got y'all. We always get nuggets every broadcast, anyway. That's right. Oh, that's right. I ain't gonna give y'all nuggets. Come on, come on. Woo, boy. But ain't nobody interested in this truth but y'all's people. Come on, that's the truth. Oh, by the way, bless your summer and his Kaya and Tia. Bless y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all stay safe down there. Hallelujah. Keep praying for a little bit. Glory to the king. I am not making an announcement yet because I won't do it until he gets home. Hallelujah. If you understand what I mean. Yes, Glory to the king. Man, teach. Dabarine, uh 13, right? Yes, 13. Yep. Can somebody please listen? Yes, See what he said? Listen what he said. Come on. If there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams and give you a sign or a wonder, and the sign of a wonder come to pass, whereof he spake unto you, saying, Let us go at the other mighty ones which you have not known, and let us serve them. You shall not hearken unto the words of that prophet, or dreamer of dreams, for Yahweh your Elohim proves you. Stop. When does he stop doing that, though? I talk to us all the time. When has y'all ever stopped proving us? We go way over the renewed covenant. It says, test everything. And only hold fast to that. Which is good. How can you test everything when you don't know the truth? 
He ain't stopped in this operating procedure. Keep reading. To know whether you love Yahweh or Yahweh. The whole test is to see whether you love him or not. Ooh, yes. The whole test. To see whether you love him or not. Huh? Come on. With all your heart and with all your soul. Now, wait a minute. How much are we supposed to be loving y'all? Oh. All. Yeah. All what? All, 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 and all, all what? All soul. soul. Then y'all should have said, love y'all with all heat with all our heart, all our soul, all my mind oh, yeah. and spirit. Yes, sir. Did he say that? Yes, sir. Come on. <coughs> you shall walk after Yahweh Elohim and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice. And you shall serve him and cleave unto him. Y'all hear that? Cleaving unto him. Come on. And that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death because he has spoken to turn you away from Yahweh Elohim. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Anybody speaking to turn us away from Yahweh Elohim. See, now we can't put people to death now because we're in captivity. But we was in our land, boy, you, it'd be curtains. So we know how to put them out and separate them from us. That's what the book says. Yes, sir. Keep reading. Which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Come on. And redeemed you out of the house of bondage. Keep reading. To thrust you out of the way which Yahweh your Elohim commanded you to walk in. Y'all hear this. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. sir. So the most high Israel, Israel, Israel. The Most High is talking to us, saying, look, if there's somebody, you know, it ain't nothing from without, it's going to be within. There ain't nothing from without that's going to destroy us. It's only that within, right? Yes, sir. Man, come on, man. He's like, this is how serious he is about his word. And we just make light up. I just told a sister uh, this past Sabbath, I said, you just, I'll tell you what, you, you go on, go away. Matter of fact, you are going away indefinitely until I get a clearance that you can come back. You know the reason why? She wouldn't obey what an elder said. Mm -hmm. you, got a, you got a rebellious daughter that don't want to be here. And the elder told you, take that girl and get her, teenage girl, get her off this land right now. Hour later, she's still sitting out there fellowshipping and stuff with everybody. Like, the elder ain't said nothing to her. Because you know the elder went and laid into her. Mm -hmm. yes. I said, don't worry about it. I got something for her. Mm -hmm. Praise y'all. Ain't nobody toying around with y'all pagan asses. Some of you people, you just don't love y'all. I don't even know why in the hell you're here, why you even stick around. Come on, Pastor. I don't even know why in the hell. I begin to wonder myself, why do we suffer you? Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. Knowing that you ain't no damn benefit, you're a spot in our feast Ooh. of charity. Sporting yourself with your own deceivers and your own destructions. So that's a big old world. Go be saved. But I tell you one damn thing we ain't tolerating is rebellious women. Praise you. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Read on. So shall you put away the evil. See, when you do it, then the evil gets away from you. I told y'all, man, I'm about restoring all this stuff because I don't. Remember I told y'all I don't, I don't like the way we've been going. I, something's wrong. Something's falling off. I said, don't worry about it. I know how to clean this shit up. Yes, sir. Bring back the, the power of Yah in great strength. Hallelujah. 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 Got to watch out, man, because remember the book gives an edict to us. It says, woe unto them that are at ease in Zion. We ain't going to get ease in Zion. Right. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. If not, if anything, we're going to stay hard in Zion. We'll uh, stay ready. That's it. Uh, in Zion. That's it. Come on, teach read. So shall you put the evil away from the midst of you. Now, this is how this is how jealous y'all is. Look what he said in verse 6. If your brother. If your who? Brother. Your brother. Even if it's your brother. Or what? 
the son of your mother. That's a unique way they put that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your brother, the son of your mother. See how I talk so concretely, though? Mm -hmm. To being definitive. That means both of you come from the same woman. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Or, or your son. Or your or your daughter. Or your the father ain't praying, isn't he? Yeah, sir. This sounds right. like Matthew, don't it? Sure yes, does. This sounds like Matthew, right. what y'all sure talking about. Yeah. Come on. Or the wife of your bosom. Now or your friend. I do gotta, I'm gonna say something here real quick. <laughs> there ain't no word called wife in the Hebrew. She's your woman. woman. And the reason why it speaks like that when it says that she is your woman because it, it denotes ownership. That's right. And you as a man are her you are her master. Yes. Well, I know I just said something. I know I just done said something, just mm -hmm. done tore it all up. So wife is one of these English things right here. I don't have any wives. I don't have a wife. I have a woman that's under my authority. That's your husband. That's good. In my house, under patriarchal rule. That's it. That's it. See the reason why we need we need, we have to talk like this while children can understand. Yes, yes. That's right. that's See, I know all my girls ain't going our little girls growing up to be women ain't just not gonna have this damn trouble. Good, First of all, they ain't gonna have this trouble because they're not gonna be out here. Turn more times than a damn doorknob. Same. Having schizophrenia, multiple yes. personalities, and stuff. All them. Man. I'm telling you, man, y'all. A virgin is different than an experienced woman. You don't get all this fight out of a virgin like you do experienced women who think they know every damn thing. True. You just don't. I'm sorry. You just don't. You know, see, they weak. Then what the hell are you rebellious? Come on. Yeah. I mean, last time, if they're weak. That good, they fit the description. Weaker vessel. That's it. <laughs> Let the weak That's sound it. strong. But yeah. if you're rebellious as hell, which come on, come on, that you gender the strength. Ooh. Don't get me started. You own it, sir. Don't get me started. You Read on. Or your friend. Or your your friend. Or your friend. Or your friend. Yeah. Or your friend. <laughs> come on. Which is as your own soul. That means even if, hey, if Jonathan enticed David, man, right. your, your own soul, man, yeah. even him. Come on. Entice you secretly, saying, let us go and serve other mighty ones, which you have not known you nor your fathers. Namely, the gods. Of the gods of the people which are around about you, nigh unto you, or far off from you, from one end of the earth even unto the end of the earth. So, watch this. We got taken away from our land, our language, our heritage, our culture, our laws, our Yah, our Elohim, the whole nine yards, right? Yes. And we was in a nation where it was forbidden for us to read and write. They taught us buck dancing Christianity. And the only thing we got out of Christianity. Uh, was enough to know how to repent. And boy, we sure did that. Yes, Massa. We had that down to a pack, boy. Yes, Massa. Yes, Massa. Y'all hear what I'm saying, right? Yes, and they knew that we were Israel. Wow. They knew it. They also knew, they also know that, man, let me see. We done got so many of these people deceived after our laws and our statutes and commandments, man. Surely, they can't, the most I can't rise up, not one or two or three of them out of the midst of this. We, we teach them our, our culture. We send them to our daycare centers. We teach them the public food system. We teach them the same thing in the private school, just on a high level. And then we send them to our colleges and institutions. We give them our way of life. Let them sit out there and work as nice little worker bees. And we give them social security at the end of it. Maybe a pension if you had a good little company that will represent you. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. Think about that. And then we give them our religion. And they grow up and they just do like cattle mentality, do like everybody else do. 
They don't. Until one day, come on, somebody got filled with the Holy Spirit. Ooh, mm -hmm. Praise y'all. Hallelujah. Then that one got filled with the Holy Spirit. All he did was preach to the ones that y'all was dealing with. That's it. Who got the Holy Spirit? Come on. Uh, do y'all remember how we first heard this truth? It was so strange to us. We was like, we thought we was even going crazy. We were like, yeah. now wait a minute. Now wait. I remember the first time I talked to you on the phone. I do. I still remember this day when I talked to him on the phone, man. I just, I even, I get it, brother. I get it. I said, here we go. Here we go. And you knew some of you, everybody has different tests. For salvation. Yah knows where our treasure is. Mm -hmm. He does. Mm -hmm. He has a test tailor made for me and a test tailor made for you. And some of you, it was your wife mm -hmm. and your children. My test was my wife too. Mother Carol didn't come in obedient. She was balking like hell. It's just that Yah dealt with her. I mean, he dealt with her and saved her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he tests some of you to see if you love your mother, your father, yep. your wife, your son, or your daughter more than him. And then when you found out that you don't love nobody more than him, oh, man. Come on. Oh, man. He told you he was going to get a hundredfold in his lifetime. Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. uh, he did. Yes, sir. Come on. Some of you can find out you get a hundredfold in his lifetime. That don't mean everybody's going to stay. Mm -hmm. He still got a hundredfold. Yeah, yeah. He always got somebody better. That's right. I told y'all last Shabbat, the Most High Yah, the angel of the Most High Yah is in count around about them that fear him. You don't know it, man, but you have an angel that's assigned to you. You don't know it, but you know now. Yes, sir. See, back then in Job days, y'all was building up hedges. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a fortress. That's the defense. Yes, sir. What was the hedge? The protecting angels. Yes, sir. Couldn't fool with you. Mm. Here we are, just running around with our head up in the cloud, just existing and thinking ain't nothing going on. No, y'all got us. The devil can't even touch you unless he get permission. And even if he, even if he's allowed to touch you, if he gets permission from the Most High, yeah. And I might add, you you got to be some type of unique person for Satan himself to come and see about you, because most of you ain't that special. There's only a few people in all the scriptures that's been that special, and you and I ain't it. You dealing with them little low base imps. And you think you got the devil. <laughs> Come on. You're like, all this devil called me all this hell. No, your rebellion has caused you all that hell. If you be willing and obedient, you eat the good of the land. Come on. You're getting that right? I mean, it's just what it is, man. All you gotta do is just obey y'all. It's really that simple. Job, he had Satan. Come deal with him personally. Yahshua has Satan come deal with him personally. Y'all hear that? Yes, sir. Eve has Satan come deal with her personally. Mm -hmm. The rest of you, you ain't that special. <clears throat> and the one thing we can learn from it all is that the most I y'all, especially once Job, don't worry about it. The latter end is going to be better than you than the former. Hallelujah, sir. That's y'all's promise. Hallelujah. Is everybody there? Yes, sir. Everybody doing all right? Yes, sir. Read on, teach. You shall not consent unto him, nor hearken unto him, neither shall your eye pity him, neither shall you spare. Oh, watch this. Neither shall you conceal him. Oh, he that concealed matter seeking love. See, then we start taking scripture out of context. You know what I mean? No, that's that's your scripture for snitch game. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. 
But when you read the whole entire scripture right there, it pretty much tell you how hard pressed towards Yah your heart needs to be. Y'all know the reason why? That we're still not the people that we need to be today in love? Tell us, yeah. Now, we know that the first four commandments have to do with the love of Yah. Mm -hmm. And we know that the last six has to do with the love of our fellow man. Yes, sir. And we know that Jesus told us that we need to love our neighbor as what? Ourselves. That's the problem. Because some of you don't love yourself. Did y'all hear what I said? Yes, sir. Some of you don't love yourself. You treat your neighbor just like you treat yourself. Now, I did say something. Come on. Come on. Let's go to John 13. Let me pull it up. If I give y'all something, man, y'all going to go with it. <laughs> Pastor Beer said, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. You treat people the way you treat yourself. It's a fact. And because Yahshua knew this, because he didn't mean it that way. When he told us, love your neighbor as yourself, he was expecting, because the book tells you, no man ever hated himself, but he loves himself and he nourishes himself. Are you following? So how many times you've been disgusted with yourself? How many times you you've abused yourself? Come on now! Oh wow, you tell me you loving y'all. You ain't dealing with no fool here, Israel. Y'all listening? Yes, sir. So Jesus came and said, "You know what? I got to give them something better and more powerful, so that they can get it, because they don't get it." I got to give them a new commandment. Somebody, oh, hell. Oh, hell. Now the Messiah's making a new commandment. Yes, he is. A new commandment. Ooh, wait, somebody said a new commandment. Man, go to John chapter 13. Start reading the verse 31. Look what Yahshua said. Man, he is so profound. Somebody give a hand. Praise, praise. to the most high God. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, who always has our best interest in mind. Huh? I'm going to show y'all where we're all really lacking at. Because we're supposed to have unfeigned love for the brother. Yes, sir. Isn't that right? That's right. We are supposed to. But we still fall. In, we're very, and I, we fall short of it all the time. Don't we? And we, we fall short because we have, a na we have never paid this one attention so when Yahshua said, I'm going to give y'all a new commandment, you're like, hey, what? some of us so Torah-based, you don't even know what he means when he says a new commandment. We're going to find out the meeting. Come on with it. Therefore, when he was gone out, Jesus said, what did he say? Now is the Son of Man glorified, and y'all is glorified in him. Mm-hmm. Yah be glorified in him. Yah shall also glorify him in himself. And shall straightway glorify him. Come on. Little children. Little children. Get a little while. I'm with you. You shall seek me. And as I said unto the Yehudi, with our go, you cannot come. So now I say to you, and what he say? He's getting ready to say something now. Everybody, don't don't y'all forget this. Highlight it. Lodge it in. Lock it in. Look what he says. New commandment I give unto you. Uh oh. Read that you love one another. Now we already know that commandment, right? Mm -hmm. But look what he did. He took it farther. As I have loved you. Oh. Oh. That's it. Oh, now wait a minute. Don't love each other the way you used to do and formerly do. Love one another the way that 
I have loved you. Because God's love. Yes. Mm. Come on. yes sir. So he's, he's, he's trying to bring us up higher. Yes, sir. Just don't do this thing like this. Well, I want y'all to, the yes, same way I've demonstrated love for y'all. No greater love than this than a man lay down his life for his friend. Love one another the way that Messiah has loved you. You heard the commandment, right? That you love one another. Well, look at this. Look at this. You heard that. As I have loved you. Not just this little thing. Love your brother. Love your sister. Love everybody else. The love has got to be on the Messiah level. It's got to be on that y'all level. Yes, sir. See what I'm saying? Yes, sir. He's bringing us up to the, to the zenith of love. right? Up, yes, all the way to agape up here. And then he turns around and says, well, after he says that, he says, look. That you also love one another. You can't love one another until you understand how the Messiah loved us. Yeah. Once you understand how the Messiah loved us and you start loving that way, then you'll know how to love one another. Oh. <laughs> then you'll know how to love one another. Oh. See, somebody should have been running through the wall, running through the ceiling. Y'all should have been, y'all should have been Yes. Some of y'all should have should have hit the floor. Amen. Some people still went right over their head. No, we knew that. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. That's right. You've always heard love your neighbor as yourself, but you ain't never took it as far as what was already written all this time that you love one another as I have loved you. Now and, and look, that you also love one another. Once you get that y'all love, once you get that y'all love, and then, then he says, this when you can be my taught ones. Uh-oh. Read verse 35. By this, shall all men know that you <laughs> are my disciples. What, what, what? If, if, if you have love. One to another. Okay, so now, nah, bro, I love you, but I've been frustrated with you. I love you, but I've been bitter against you. Mm -hmm. But you know what? When we love y'all, I've never been frustrated with him. When we love y'all, I've never been bitter against him. Mm -hmm. I'm coming with real true agape love. Yes, sir. You getting that? Wow. You know, we're very careful about how we present ourselves to y'all. Yeah, that's right. Huh? We just don't yes, sit up and just, just let it all hang out in front of him. You understand what I mean? Yes. We don't have that kind of hatred like that with him. With our brother, we'll demonstrate all kind of hatred. Mm -hmm. But boy, and discord, and disagreement and stuff. But we won't do that with y'all. Mm -hmm. Not when we're full with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And then he'll say, this is the only way that people are going to know you're my disciples if you have love mm -hmm. one to another. How are you going to do that? When you love one another as I have loved you. When you can get to my level of love the way I love, then all men are going to know you're my disciples. Because that love is different than the love yes, of the world. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, wow. <laughs> totally different than the love of the world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Jeez. Elder Becker said, that's straight up. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, and I and I might add, very few of us have attained to that in this generation. Very few of us have attained to that in this generation. Our love is always uh, based on conditions. That's right. That's us. Everybody doing all right? Yes. Yeah. Like we've seen a ghost in this place, man. Holy ghost. <laughs> Man, but that's beautiful, though. If we can ever get there, we'll be fine. If we can ever get there. I believe we can get there. But well, we got to die out the selfishness. Because Messiah wasn't selfish. Messiah, though he was rich, he became poor. Messiah divested himself of 
all divine nature and everything to be able to walk this thing 100% in faith. Trust in Yah. When he was reviled, he reviled not. Mm. That, man, I'm telling you, we, I, I need some work. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. I need some work. When I read something like that, I'm like, oh, Jesus. Yeah. And I thought I loved. Yeah. Woo, boy, I better. Father, I got a whole lot more on my knees and yes. living to do, boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. You know how divine that love is? So let's go quote the scripture everybody knows. For Yah so loved the world there you go. that he gave. Now that means in order to be able to have an agape love, you got to be able to, to give. Yep. You got to be at a, and listen, if you get buffeted for your faults, you can't stand up in pride. You got to learn how to take it patiently. Oh, mm. We probably need to go to a break, man. We probably need to go to a break, man. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I think it's just the daggers in there, isn't it? Them daggers working like a sewing machine. And you just can't move. <laughs> you just can't move. Join Patreon with Pastor Dowell to get all the unfiltered truth. If you like what you see, support the work of the ministry using Cash App or PayPal. The only one that can make you whole. Hallelujah. Spirit, body, and soul. Hallelujah. Be sure to tune into Blog Talk Radio with Pastor Dow. Be sure to tune into the Shabbat message with Pastor Dow. In order to stay up to date with Straightway Truth Ministry, visit www.straightwaynetwork.com. You took me from this my old life, and your understanding confounds the wise. My eyes help me open my heart. Join Patreon with Pastor Dow to get all the unfiltered truth. If you like what you see, support the work of the ministry using Cash App or PayPal. Be sure to tune into Blog Talk Radio with Pastor Dow. Be sure to tune into the Shabbat message with Pastor Dow. You restored us the righteous ways of old, the righteous ways of old. You made the weak say that he is strong through the strength of the Messiah, the strength of the Messiah. Oh, yeah, let your kingdom come. In order to stay up to date with Straightway Truth Ministry. Tell you what, huh? The words I give them. Think about give and for give. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Matthew 13, man. Matthew 18. Hey, I know the reason why it's quiet, man, because because you know as well as I know what we just got finished going over. We don't know nobody in this world that is at that level yet. 
I'll tell you one damn thing, we better get there. Because there's many things that, that we pride ourselves in. Uh, what happened? Can y'all still hear me on, on the live feed? What well, blog talk, y'all just gonna miss it. If y'all can still hear me on live feed, give me a, a seven. All right. So there are many things where that we have met conditions in the most high's book, the scriptures. Unless a man forsake all that he has, can I be my disciple? Some of us have done that. Not everybody. Look, that lets you know how, how. Think about how small and tedious and how much of a remnant this is, though. It's getting that much more narrower. Before the breath go out of our body, we better have this guy. Go to 1 Corinthians 13. Yes, We're going to find out what, what because, I mean, everything about this love is written about. Everything about this love, it is written about. So don't it don't need to be a mystery of what kind of love this is. <laughs> Whoa, ain't y'all good? Boy, now the devil cutting food. He disconnected yeah. blog talk. Said we got that line Eek! out of nowhere. I didn't touch shit. Mm -hmm. No, they already gave me a banner beforehand that they were having issues already. Oh, they were having issues. Okay. They definitely gonna have issues on this one, then, isn't they? <laughs> Come on, teach First Corinthians thirteen. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, you know, you know what? Do you have a scriptures version over there? Let's get the script. Let's get a little bit more concrete. Y'all do notice that we still use a little bit of the King James, but I mostly try to. Y'all know I've I mixed in a lot of it. Yes, sir. Get clarity in here and understanding. Mm -hmm. You got scriptures, teach. Go ahead, teach. If I speak with the tongue of men and of messengers, but do not have love, I have become as sounding brass or as a clanging cymbal. Y'all in there, right? Come on. And, and if I have prophecy and have all secrets and all knowledge, and if I have all beliefs so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am none at all. Now, mind you, it ain't even saying you cannot do all this stuff. It's saying you actually can do all this stuff. Wow. And you still don't have love. You are nothing. Wow. Now, in other words, you can have a gift of y'all. Mm -hmm. Y'all give the gift, but if you don't operate in love, you still ain't nothing. Y'all is so divine that you know what he'll do? He'll let you set up here and be deceived and thinking that you are so damn right and stuff and you're full of all the negative stuff that we speak about such as unforgiveness, resentment, bitterness, hate, envy, strife, jealousy, all this other stuff, and he'll use you to get somebody else to the kingdom and damn your soul. Yeah. Wise guy. Jesus. Mm. What kind of God is that? Oh, just y'all. Yeah, loving God. Oh, just y'all. Don't tell me what y'all's just. Yes, he is. Yes, okay, is. we want to get a let's get a lesson in it, the justice of y'all, y'all's justice. Okay, now the commandment says, You shall do no murder. Is that right? Yes, sir. King James, thou shalt not kill, right? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Okay, you kill somebody, you understand that hey, you was on the offers of some spirit, you was angry at all this stuff, and I forgive you. I forgive you. Father, please forgive me. He said, I forgive you. Please, I'm so sorry, please. I forgive you. Ah, he, please forgive me. I forgive you. You still got to pay for it. That's just. 
is Justin. I'm sorry, Justin is. David, you are the man. You turned around and killed Uriah the Hittite. Took his wife. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to kill your firstborn. Justice of y'all. Right. Right. Now we're talking about the y'all's justice. Because nobody wants to clap nobody hands or nothing like that. But we're talking about y'all's justice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see what I'm talking about, right? Yes, sir. Very true. For every sin yeah. and yeah. every transgression shall receive a just right. recompense yes, of reward. Right. You people forget, man, the nature of y'all. You get that? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yep. Eight and four. David, yep. he fasted. Mm -hmm. yep. He repented. Yep. Hell of a lot better than what we do today. Right, yeah. He's in the temple. Yeah. He ain't nothing. Who gonna know if y'all's gonna be merciful? Yeah. Who? He Ooh. stuck it all the way out. Yes. <laughs> y'all already told him. I'm telling him. Yes, I'm still taking. Can you imagine? Now, what kind of test is that for you and I? Y'all getting this, right? Yes, sir. You know he's merciful because you, you done spoke the Psalms. Mm -hmm. And yet he ain't showing no mercy towards you. Mm -hmm. And you're asking. Asking you shall receive. Seek you shall find. Knocking. How many times I read in the law that he shall in no wise acquit the guilty? See, y'all ain't no fool that Christianity has made you to think him to be. That's right, sir. That's right, Pastor Dow been trying to put a hell of a lot of defibrillators on our mind for quite a few decades here. Just so we can keep ourselves in the good stead of God. Don't be sitting out there with all these damn presumptuous ass spirits. Yes, sir. You yes. presuming. Yes. Come on, Pastor. You better learn how to walk circumspectly and not as fools. Redeeming the time. They gave David a report. Baby dead. David got up, washed himself, started eating. Yeah. What are you doing? Why are you eating? What can I do? Yeah. What do you want me to do? Cry, belly aching, mourn. Like the women, they would do that and they would look at you. Hey, why ain't you doing it? Well, get out of my get out of my face with your emotions. Y'all has already gave the answer. What the hell am I supposed to do? Now you don't because you knew David loved y'all. You knew he loved y'all. I'm like, how, how am I gonna fight against him? What am I supposed to do? See, most of you be you be like, you be like, ah! about to lose your damn ever loving mind. Crying like it's going to solve something. Y'all is already judged. Yeah. That's why he's just. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So right. get prophecy. Reveal secrets and knowledge and everything. Hey, got faith. Move mountains. Yet do it because you got to give, but you don't operate in love. Wow. Unprofitable. And mind you, the gifts work by love. Yes, mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I need one more. Hey, so you think about this, man. Y'all, yeah, man, is love. Yes. For this is the love of y'all. It is. That we keep his commandments. It is. If you love me, mm -hmm. keep, keep my commandments. And my commandments are not grievous. No. That's a lot of love. So guess what? A There's a lot of, of people playing religion. Don't keep his commandments. You don't love him. Don't give a shit. Deceive yourself all you want. Now you think about this. Much as I talk about this, you don't think, I told you, I said it once, I said it a thousand times in the past. I had not need to say it more. Listen, it ain't the things that I know that disturb me about me. It's the things I don't know. It's exactly. the things that have yet to be unearthed. Yes, that is what troubles me. Yes, sir. And I want to make sure that I'm walking so sober that if something do come up about me, I can catch it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, yep. Is anybody out there listening to me or y'all just sitting there looking? Yep. Man, this 
a deep fraud cast here tonight. Yes, yes, it is. I didn't do all this all these years just so I can just miss the mark, man. I, I'm, I'm doing this out of love because I, I want I want to see the king. Come on. In the beauty of holiness. Come on. I want my place in the mansion. Yes, uh, yeah. Yeah. This is a labor of love. Yes. Yes. Oh, mercy. Yeah. Ooh, Jesus. Yahweh, have mercy on me. Yes. Yahweh, have mercy. Y'all need to listen to this preacher, man. Just listen to the preacher, okay? Come on, Tifa. Let's go on. We need to read this, man. I, I, I was going one way, and y'all done yes, detour this yes, just sir. that fast. Come on. And if I give out all my possessions to feed the poor. Now, who have the message preached to us? The poor does. What's the sole purpose of us giving it all? So we can have the poor amongst us. Yes, sir. Isn't that right? Yes, but if I give all my possessions to feed the poor, and what? And if I give my body to be bound? Boy, that's something notable, isn't it? Because they were burning people back then. Yep. Damn, think about that, man. Getting the body be burned. Y'all better hope Pastor Dow was there with an arrow to put it through your head or heart. That's mercy. That's oh, never mind. No, yes, Some people will look, what do you no, mean? If my brother yeah. or sister is burning at the stake and they're screaming in the heart and I put an arrow through their yeah. temple yeah. or their heart, don't tell me that ain't. That's you know, it's something wrong with us, man. No, there is something sincerely wrong with us today, man. We got a way of thinking, man. It is extremely, not only is it naturally cancerous, but it's spiritually cancerous. Mm. It is. Yes, sir. It's bad. Yes, sir. You think the people love you sitting there dropping all them damn tears while you being seized like a shish kebab? Oh, you better hope that Pastor Dow is sitting sitting back about a thousand yards and I snipe you from that distance. Come on. You know what my problem is? I know what my problem is in this generation. I do know what my problem is. You know, y'all want to hear my real problem though? Yes, sir. If you want to hear my real problem, type, type in three. three. Give me a three if you want to hear my real problem. Pastor dow has got a real problem. I know what it is. Y'all hear? It? Yes, sir. My real problem is, is I read the scripture too much. Come on. Mm. Come on. You ask all my Ishas. They'll tell you. All my Ishas, they'll tell you, man. I stay every time I every time they turn around. If I'm not in the scripture, they'll sometimes see me praying or I'm getting hit by the Holy Spirit. Or they'll tell you. Ask them. They would tell you. This man pray about everything. He leave out the gate. He prays. <laughs> you get it? We supposed to do that anyway. We, we taught them ain't do that. You won't believe how much. Death, hell, and destruction, y'all saved us from yes. just by doing that. Yes, sir. Just by doing that. Yes. Preserved us. Yes. But I'm telling you, man, I immerse myself in that word. I mean, I love reading the scriptures. Love reading the word. It's the greatest joy that life has to offer. That's right. It is. Come on, let's read. What we had to teach? First Corinthians thirteen three. Keep going. Keep on. And if I give my body to be burned, but do not have love, I am not profited at all. Y'all getting there, right? Yes, sir. You just wasted time because you probably got your body burned for your own glory. You want to be a model so your name can be wow. remembered. You didn't have testimony of Peter. I'm not even worthy to be crucified like mine. Just turn, uh, put me upside down. Come on, Chuck. Because he had the revelation. We need that revelation. Yes, we do. Yes, sir. Verse 4. Love is patient. And then you fly off the handle. <laughs> and then you fly off at the handle. Mm. 
Come on. Love is kind. But you angry. Come on. Love does not envy. But you full of jealousy. <coughs> Love does not boast. But you are prideful. <laughs> You're prideful, man. What do we do we need time out over here? We rightly dividing this word too. Yes. You know I'm talking to us, Israel. Yes, Y'all yep. ain't trying to do no per per perfectus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Amen. Oh, yeah. yes, sir. Come on. Yah is not puffed up. But you ain't got a lick of humility in you. You got that voluntary humility when you know that somebody's going to reap praises and accolades on you. Okay. But you're really looking for it. Wow. Yes, sir. Come on. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Somebody Come say, on. tell the truth and shame the devil. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Uh, it does not, verse 5. Love, Yah does not behave indecently. Come on. Love. Does not seek its own. How many times have we done that? Mm. You're on. really seeking your own, but you're trying to get everybody else to buy in what you're selling to make it think it's not your own, but you know in your wicked ass heart of hearts, you're doing it for the benefit of your own damn self. Yes, That's why the most I said, you know, he, he judges the thought and the intents of a man's heart. You may try to hide from it. You ain't going to hide from me. I'm, I'm a man of discernment. Discerning the spirits is a gift. I, I, I promise you, I got that one good. Real good. And I never use it to abuse. I always use it to draw people close to the king. To be perfect before him. And when I do that, I don't go around and tell everybody, yeah, 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 you know, I told his brother this. <laughs> what kind of damn love is that? Come on. Love is not provoked. It's not what? Provoked. Not but what? Provoked. Some of you at the wind blow, you provoked. Come on. Love reckons not the evil. Come on. Love. <laughs> Pastor Rupert said the reset button is yeah. in full effect. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. Come on. Love does not rejoice mm -hmm. over the unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. But love rejoices in the truth. It, what, what does love do? Rejoice. Rejoices. Anybody ever had that truth hit you and you go, oh, me, oh, my, and you still yeah. got them hands up? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why you dying at the same time? Yeah, <laughs> Why you dying? Anybody ever yes, done it before? Yeah, you, you're, you, cause yes, you sir. know you. If you are a truther, you know it. You know you got to praise him in all things. Yes, sir. And sometimes then it truly, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fight and a struggle. Yes, sir. And you still gonna fight to give him the glory. Yes, sir. While you die. Yeah. Hey, some, what is he talking about? What is Pastor now talking about? I hope some of you get some holiness, man, about yourself. I truly do. Then you want to understand and comprehend what I'm talking about. I hope you do. You see, look, listen, listen. I know I have at least obtained to this level. I can hear words spoken and still not be offended. You know, I mean, come on. When a man speak, he speak from the heart, right? Out of the abundance of the what? Heart, the mouth, do a speak. I mean, we know that. But the book also says there's a man that speak up. And sometimes he slips in his speech. But not in his heart. You have to know the intent of people. Has your heart ever been revealed to you before? Yes. Or did you was like, what the shit? <laughs> The hell is that? Yes, sir. If you ever been there before, surely you can have mercy with somebody else. Yeah, yeah. And you ain't got to say nothing. If you can discern and see that somebody else, oh, they got it. Oh, you good if you've been there. If you ain't never been there, you're unmerciful. Jeez. 
you are unkind. Yeah, you are. You ready to go in like a two-ton heavy stick because you ain't never experienced the judgment of y'all against your own self. Ooh. And you know what the judgment? Anybody want to know what the judgment of y'all is? Does anybody want to know what the yes, judgment sir. of y'all is? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The judgment of y'all is is when you judge yourself. Yeah. You know, we're going to end this broadcast tonight. Oh. Matter of fact, we're we just about at the end anyway, man. I think this is too much for us, man. The book tells us if you judge yourself, you won't be judged. And that's the one thing we won't do. We won't touch ourselves, but we'll judge everybody else. It's easy for me to judge Ross, though, because I see him so clearly. Huh? Even though he got a moat and I got a beam in my eye, man, I see him crystal clear. I got it. I got, give me the EO tech up there, man. I got it. I got Ross, man. I got your ass right here in these damn cross hands. Whoa, whoa, there he is. There he is. There he is. Man. That's it. As long as you looking that way. Yeah. You can't That's look it. the way y'all looking. Come on. Come on. At the end of the day, are we loving ourselves? That's it. I don't know why that green light is distorted like that, but when you put that magnifier on, it's just. I so like the way it looked, though, man. I got you, Ross. That's the brother. Yes, sir. <sighs> is everybody all right? Yes, sir. We doing good? Yes, sir. Teach, where are we at? 13-7. Go ahead. Love covers all. And it what? Believes all. And? Love expects all. And? Love endures all. And you know what? You know what's really challenging about all this? So if you are a husband, a patriarch, the head of your family. You're charged to walk in the agape love of Yah in your own family. Husband, love your wives. Be not bitter against them. How, how many times are we bitter against them? They're already weaker vessels. You know they're full of shit. You know they're full of shit. And yet you're charged to love them. First thing you want to do, throw in the damn towel. So suppose the Messiah throwing the towel on your ass so fast too damn. Well, I'm throwing a lot. Well, Messiah throwing a lot too. Because we just got finished reading that love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not bother itself. I full well expect my Isha's to shit on themselves. I know they're going to do it. But guess what? They still won. Come on. Love covers. And guess what that one is? <laughs> it's your responsibility. Because you the head. Love covers. I said it's your responsibility because you the head. You can blame her all damn day long. It's still your damn fault. You know how I know it? Because if you're righteous, you're going to catch Eve and rebuke that shit. You're not going to let it ride like Adam did. You're going to set her ass straight. Never mind, man. I'm... Love Maybe I'm speaking too fast. Am I speaking in tongues or some shit? I'm not, I, mean, I gotta be doing something, man. Come on, taking that ass Adam, his problem is because he didn't rebuke Eve. Eve didn't receive to eat it from the very beginning. Listen, that tree, you better not touch. Eve wasn't even around. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind, man. Come on. Receive the word from her husband. See what we expect. We expect our, our wives to be so righteous and shit. You the leader, but yet you're a pussy. Jesus, man. I don't give a damn. You, you got a 15 inch. You're still a pussy. You can't correct your wife. Come on, chef. Come on, chef. If I was a, a woman, ain't no way in hell you'd be supposed to be with her like that. 
I'm done, man. Hell no. <laughs> but y'all know what I'm saying. Yes, sir. It's so easy to bring blame the weaker vessel because she don't have a voice. Jeez. Y'all told Adam, you got the responsibility. Yes, I listen. By divine fiat, you are the authority. So she turns around, she bites on that damn fruit, she gives it to you, and you don't say a damn thing, you at fault. We could have saved, Adam could have saved the whole damn universe if he would just rebuke Eve. Are y'all think I'm kidding? Go back in and see if Eve was present when y'all gave it that command. Go check it out. Mm. And as soon as she fell, the first thing we're going to do is put a finger on her. When it's your responsibility under your watch, man. Y'all the one that told us as the man to set things that are in order. He didn't give that edict to the woman. He gave it to us. Yes, she won't obey. Put her ass away then. Ooh. Don't give no excuse. You don't have to tolerate it. He, he already spoke that in the law. That's love. That's love. We don't have any excuse. Yes, because pretty soon you know what's going to happen, right? Come on, sir. We're going to do like Adam has that woman you gave me. Oh, strange ship. Come on, yep. Oh, God. Now, you really in some deep doo doo when you set up that blaming the most high, yeah. Oh, man. I'm thinking, man. I'm trying to wonder. Did I say something wrong, man? Because oh, no. it seemed to be. Oh, no. oh, there got to be a lot of conviction or something going yes, on, man. Come on, yes, sir. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to keep going. I just saw something. Keep reading. Never failed. Oh, so. <laughs> In other words, you can count on me. <laughs> you hear that? You, you, you can count on me. Now, I know rebellion. I see rebellion, right? But I guarantee you, man, my, my issues, man, they'll tell you, man. Man, that's so many times, man, I, I was within a hair of, of writing that divorce and just see you. But I still remember what I saw. And mind you, we're talking about somebody that's actually put somebody away now. You get it? Yes, you can look at that and go, hey, man, this ain't this just ain't gonna happen. Wow, 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 wow. I pray, Father, that we get it. Yes. I truly, 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 truly do. I truly, truly do, man. I think we can. Matter of fact, I ain't no think to it. I know we yes, can. Yes, I know we can because it is written. Yes, sir. But yes. if it's going to happen, go back to John 13, 34. You better read. If it's going to happen, it can't be this, this, um, this love that is expected of us. This love has got to go to the Messiah level. We can't no longer just love each other because the commandment says we got to love the way y'all loves. Read it. A new commandment. I give unto you. Now let me ask you something. 
Y'all is already love, right? Mm -hmm. Well, think about it. So did you really give a new commandment, though? No. Since he's already loved? He heard from All him. he did <laughs> was just add steroids to it. Yeah. Are you following me? He basically said, this is the kind of love I'm expecting from y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Scripture say a renewed commandment. Huh? Said the a renew. Say a renewed but y'all get this though, right? Yeah. I get this. Listen. First command is love Yahweh, your Elohim, with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and your spirit. And the second is like unto the first, which is love your neighbor as yourself. Now, you know what y'all just did, right? Y'all want to hear what y'all just did? Yes, sir. We took the first where well, you supposed to love all of him. Then he took the love that you would normally have for natural man, moved that out of the way, and said, you need to love also on this side the same way that I love. Mm -hmm. That way you can come on. Mm. That way you got y'all love on both sides of yes. it. Come on. Woo! Wow. It's amplified. <laughs> We're, We're going to move man out of all this shit. Yeah. It's going to be straight up y'all. All y'all. All y'all shoot. Nail it to the tree. Every bit of it. That's the real job. That's the real job. Oh, Praise God. Oh, Father. Wow. He's in the first, and he's also in the name. Woo! Yes, he, he's. Get away with the first, then he may have stopped. Hey! All we can do is say, <laughs> man, man, that y'all sure is something else. Go to Psalms 40, verse 8, and read that real quick. Get what, this this y'all sure is oh, something else, man. Jesus. Go oh, that Psalm 40, verse 8. Now we're going to start understanding when he says this. Ooh, hey! Boy, this is good. Reteach. I delight to do your will, Elohim. Mm. Yeah! Your law is within my heart. Y'all hear that? Yes. His law is where? Within. Keep reading. Keep reading. Keep reading. I have preached righteousness. In the great congregation. Keep going. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, oh Yah. Keep going. You, you know, you know. I have not hid your righteousness within my heart. I have declared your faithfulness and your salvation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you hear this? Yes. Now go to verse 7. Psalm 40, verse 7. Then said I, Lo, I come mm. in the volume <laughs> of the book. Come on. It is written of me. So the whole book is y'all love. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the whole entire thing. <laughs> and then it's Israel. Mm. He going to know you as disciples. Man, this is good. This yes. is really, yes, really good tonight, man. Yes, sir. Y'all see what y'all just did? He's expecting our love to exceed that of natural man. Mm. He wants our love to go that to the same love of the Messiah. Yes. And you know what? It ain't unattainable mm. because he would never tell us something that can't be done. Yes, sir. If it couldn't yes, be done, he never said it. Right, sir. Yes, sir. And then he says this. Once you obtain this love, then they'll know that you're my disciples. We're too bitter today. That's the truth. It is. Now, I want to bring a balance in this. This love is not sloppy love. To where you got somebody as rebellious as hell, you still got a law to deal with that. That's good, sir. That's good. Sure. Sure. No, no, no. Come on. Yeah. Yes, you just don't love the devil. <laughs> no, no, that's good. You got to bring it. If I don't say that's this, good. everybody be loving every damn thing now. They be loving rocks. Oh, the rock. The rock. Oh, oh a damn leaf fell on the rock and damaged the rock. Oh, God. I love the rock so much. Stop. Because y'all know how we are, man. We have propensity to take yeah. stuff to a whole yeah. nother that's level, man. That that's ain't a, even there. That's right. Still keep the law. That's good. Come on. That's good. <laughs> Come on. Still keep the law. 
Next thing you know, your children be running around like a bunch of bastards because you refuse to chasten them. Mm. Come on, Pastor. Hey, that is very true. Pastor. They'll be ruling the roost. Yeah. Mm. You got to chase your son if you love yeah. him now. Yes. Yeah, I do. Come on. If you had a son, you got to chase him. You know how that feels. Mm -hmm. Come on. Woo, just like whooping your own ass. Uh oh. Does not Yah chasten those whom he loves? Yes, sir. Oh. Yep. And does he not scourge every son in whom he receives Come on, sure. and whom Yah yep. loves? He chases. Chase Come on. <sighs> That's good. We got to bring the balance, man, because some of you think show. you can just run around rebellious as hell and ain't got this shit going on. Come on. This dead season, we have an epidemic of rebellious ass teenage girls. So when I took authority um, over Nicole's children, right? Oh, I took authority, all right. One of them is gone. So be it. The other one is married. Hallelujah. Doing good. Secure. Yes. Yeah, up there with Frog. I know she's secure with Frog, man. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, hallelujah. That's right. You get hallelujah. it? Yep. I looked at Giselle. I said, How old are you? Oh, I'm a 15. Give me that damn cell phone. Well, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. My ass. Just give it to me. Give it to your mama. You ain't having no damn cell phone. You better not have a cell phone in your damn hand. And you better not have a cell phone in your hand. Somebody say love. 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 Jesus. Why in the hell? Come on. Yes. You being grown will want to put a cell phone in a child's hand. Come on. You didn't have access to the whole damn world. And you want to give them access to the whole damn world they ain't ready for? You wasn't even ready for it. That's right. That's right. That's good. You ain't got that damn cell phone, do you? Who gave you that damn phone? Oh, poor, okay. You were using anything else? Okay. All right. She said I gave her that damn cell phone back only for polo. That's around here on the sister's land. Yes, sir. At least she honored me enough to not damn take that thing and go on the information house. You better not be on that damn information. Bring your ass here, Giselle. I'm gonna put on the carpet now, ain't it? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's <coughs> There's a delay, so we gotta wait a minute. So you I took the cell phone from me, right? Yes. Gave back to you? Yes. I did? For what? Polo and talking to my dad. Polo and talking to your dad. Yes. You do anything other than that? No, sir. Well, watch like my Yeah, give me the phone. Now, how many of y'all would have called hell if your daughter would have gave you that phone? Mm. If you told her to give you that phone, she'd have fought you tooth and nail. Mm. She can give it to me because she ain't doing shit. Y'all getting this? Mm -hmm. All right. I thought I forgot all about that. So at least you're on the sister's polo, right? Yes. Don't get on that damn internet. You what? I will not. <laughs> y'all seeing that? Mm -hmm. Bless you, babe. She walking in truth. You can see it too, can't you? Mm -hmm. She ain't playing no games. She for real. I thought I took that damn cell phone over. <laughs> <laughs> I know I did, though. I know I did. But she telling the truth. I probably did give back only for the sister's polo, which is good. But look at her spirit. You see her spirit? Yes. 
Little mm -hmm. spirit look like she's depressed, no, downtrodden. Absolutely not. One percent still encouraged, full of Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Come on. Don't mind being under authority. Come the on. women that mind being under authority, like, yeah, all rebellious and shit. That's, right. That's telling y'all something. That's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Y'all see how fast she gave me the phone too, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yep, yes, sir. I could, I could climb all through that damn thing. Anytime I want. Ooh, boy, that's that's being ready. Mm -hmm. So how ready should we be? How ready should we be as Israel? Yes, sir. This has been a good broadcast, yes, though, man. Yes, Excellent. Man, it's been a good broadcast. Y'all got teenage daughters, sons, don't give them no damn cell phone unless you can trust them that they will keep it honest. And if one time, the first time they slip up to prove to you they can't, take it away until they get 25. That's right. Well, I don't know if they're going to hang. Who gives a shit if they hang around or not? Salvation is not your issue. Come on. That's y'all. Uh oh, mm -hmm. the love of y'all is y'all. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah, sir. Y'all the one predestined us, chosen us. Yes, Ain't that true? That's right. Oh, hallelujah. Think about that, though. So you're seeing that. Look at all this generation, man. These few righteous men and women is going to be, will bring about a holy nation. Isn't that going to be beautiful? Yes, Teach, you ain't got a chance to bring forth a holy nation. Come on. Huh? You got a chance to bring forth a holy nation, man. Well, the one thing that y'all taught us, man, we still ain't too old to bring forth a holy nation. That's right. Wow. That's wow. right. Hmm? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. yes. I got to make sure that my sons and daughters don't marry some of y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh man, they got to marry some people that's serious now. Come on, isn't that right? Yes, sir. Trey, you gonna bring forth a holy nation? Yes, sir. That's right. One that won't wreck vehicles. Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> Uh, my sister know I love her, man. She know I love her. I love my daughter, man. Israel, I'm telling you, man, I hope that tonight we really truly have taken this broadcast to heart. I told y'all, we may start off one way. You don't never know which way no, the Holy Spirit is going to lead. Whatever way he's going to lead is going to be right, though. It's right. Yes, sir. And I know that every single one of our hearts, man, got smitten. We seen yes. no. what we fall short, what we need to come up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we got some serious work to do. Yes, serious sir. work to do right. in this regeneration. Yes, sir. You're right, brother Marco. It is just beautiful. That's why I thank the Father for you too. Thank the Father for Blog Talk, man. Because it was think about it, man. If it wasn't for this outlet right here, some of you would never, ever, ever heard of Pastor Dow. Nope. Come never. Come I can't tell you how many of you people. Was online some way somehow, and then you see this little caption over on the side. You click on it. That was your doom. Come on, doom from this world, but salvation in y'all. Hallelujah. 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 Our brothers in Philippines say true, man. And mind you, they up early in the morning watching this. Brett, bless y'all over in the Philippines, man. Bless you, brother Ferdinand, brother, brother Ferdinand Gabriel. and Gabriel, y'all, man. We need Mr. to get over man. and see them, man. Yeah. <laughs> They've been through some stuff over there. Mm. Nah, they send hand praises teach. How about Mike doing, man? Doing very well. He's, the, the hub over there is growing. Really? Yeah, we've added two more brothers over there. So we got brothers. One from We just ain't got no sisters. Yeah, brothers. One from Luxembourg, yeah. one from Bruno, and then there's another coming on. So they're they're gathering. Yeah. I've been to England, but I ain't I ain't been to that part. Um, who knows, man? Maybe the father opened up the door while I come see y'all brothers on some uh, missionary journeys. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Need go see them, man. Um, 
grow this thing, get it going. You heard anything from um, bro Juan? Zero. I thought he was still hanging on, man. Christian Deacon said he's talked to him recently. He has. That's what I heard. See if we can confirm this, huh? See if he's doing that, man. Like, see what brother Juan's doing, man. In other words, we got people scattered all throughout this damn globe. Yes, but Gino, <laughs> Gino, oh, Gino Jennings, you're naughty, cowardly of a man. I seen you the other day out there debating a rapper, mm. a damn rapper that don't know shit. A <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and then having your little weak ass man, escort him out. Let's go to out. Let's go to I'm like, man, over in Kingston, Jamaica. They take your neck of the woods. <laughs> you know, I've been to Jamaica quite a few times. Kingston, Jamaica. Man, y'all some sorry ass Negroes, man. Y'all about them, y'all about sorry as they damn get. I'm telling how the hell you go over there and you gonna talk all this smack and shit and you debate the Geno's a damn joke, man. You a damn joke. It's bad, man. What are we going to do about Gino? Gino, you're sorry, man. <laughs> so if I go to Jamaica, I can get you to escort me around in a few places I ain't never been, right? Yes, sir. Because I've been only to the, you know, the resort size and all that stuff. You know, I was in, okay. So <laughs> me and Mother Carol was in Jamaica, right? Mm -hmm. And um, you, you see people riding in the back of trucks. Yes. All right. And there was a, um, Probably about a, it was a teenage girl in the back of a truck. And you could tell she wasn't really well to do. Because, you know, you can go to them stoplights and people trying to sell you produce, yeah. water, every, every damn thing. And the grid looked like it used to look over here in the 60s and 70s. Most of y'all, you weren't even born, so you don't know. Just just look at some videos on YouTube, all right? <laughs> but the grid over there looked like it used to look over here in the 60s and 70s, right? And so... I took a hundred dollar bill. I bought it up. I was inside the vehicle, and I looked at her and, and I threw it to her, just to make sure it lands in the truck. She got it. She opened it up, seen a hundred dollar bill. She goes, "I go, damn! If I had a hundred dollar bill, man, I would cause the truck to stop." <laughs> huh? That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of money. She act like nothing went on. I'm like, is she illiterate? I look at most girls. Is she illiterate? What the hell's going on? That's a lot of them, huh? That's what I'm saying. Because if she was Jamaican and she seen a hundred, what was the currency over again? Uh, one U.S. dollar is like uh, fifty-five. But you see what I'm saying, though. Yeah. So if you look at a hundred, it could be a thousand. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She could probably took it to some damn shyster. They would have took advantage of. Because mm -hmm. I think, Carl, don't we have, don't you go, don't you got some Jamaican money in the safe? All right, go to the safe real quick. See, we got some Jamaican money here real quick. Because I think 20,000. See, we got some in there real quick. I think we do. But, you know, it's not the same, the the money exchange rate. Mm -hmm. she, she probably looked at that and saw that and thought it was nothing, and it was probably triple the value. Y'all mm -hmm. <laughs> get it? Mm -hmm. I said, ah, that's probably what went on. Oh, she didn't get taken advantage of, though. The one thing about the Most High God that he said that is really true is more blessed to give than to receive. Most of you have never experienced that because you used to receiving and never giving. But it really truly is that I've lived off that. For the last 30 years of my life, I literally lived off that. 33 years of it. And it's just a fact. It's just good. It really is. 
But anyway, hey, bro, Ryan, Tristan, Ross, appreciate y'all, man, being here with y'all labor of love, man. It does not go unnoticed. So I'm going to ask Elder Kabir if I can give y'all an offer, man, so y'all can buy y'all some cool pops. <laughs> what you got, mama? You know what I mean. Let's see if he lets y'all keep that. There he is right there. See, that that right there, the Bank of Jamaica. See, in case you people think I'll be talking shit. <laughs> So this 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 right, that ain't too much, is it? You got five thousand right here. That ain't too much or nothing. <laughs> One thousand over here. Who are these cats? Because I remember what was that lady? We bought her a, a twenty dollar bill. She said it will cost us how much, honey? That was a hundred dollars Jamaican. She probably seen that. And said, oh shit, this shit ain't number ten, fifteen, twenty cents. <laughs> Another 50 right there. Well, Mother Carol will be coming through, don't she? You got 100 US or 100 Jamaican? 100 US. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, because I'm expecting, you know, dumbass American, you give it to somebody um, common, on the common, they probably look, eh. Well, Chef, you can throw me. What, what I'm saying, <laughs> I mean, I, I what I'm saying is, you know what I'm saying. People are probably sitting there thinking, she probably thinking, ah, he gave, ah, he probably gave me a few dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah. And somebody probably took advantage. Man, bless her heart. They probably took advantage of her. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But y'all knows. You know what I mean? All right, that's good, babe. So anyway. I don't even know who these cats are. You know who these cats are? There's a 500 right there. Yeah? So a $20 bill is, is how many in Jamaican? Oh, that's a $20 bill is a lot in Jamaican money. How much is it? Well, we'll pull up the exchange rate here for a second, man. Yeah, somebody tell me, wait, talk that exchange rate. Shut up. Let's let us do our thing. Here's 5,000 right here. Most you people think, that's 5,000 U.S. dollars. Huh? What? 20 dollar bill. 20 dollar bill, 1,100 drink. Yeah, that is right. Hey, Pastor Muir got it. That's why I keep telling people, man. You, you ain't traveling much. You, and mind you, I've been doing this for a while. You, man. Anyway. <laughs> Glory to the king. But y'all see what we're saying, right? We're trying to make a point, right? Y'all get it, right? I'm hoping that nobody took advantage of her. Ooh, so $1 is one fifty five in Jamaican. Man, that's a lot. Yeah, 155 in Jamaica. That's a lot, man. I'll tell you this. The one thing I've learned about the most out of y'all is being in here, the best thing is humility. Yes, Just learn how to be humble, man. Because yes, in any given time, you don't never know when you're going to be exalted Ooh. or based. That is very, very true. But the one thing that y'all does teach us to be in every state is content. Yes. Just yes. be content. Because whatever they call money in this damn world, that doesn't define you as a man or woman. Yah is the one who defines you as a man or woman. We good? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. All right. Oh, yeah. They will charge you two, three hundred dollars for U.S. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Pastor. They'll charge you every bit of for a damn sneakers bar in Jamaica. Yeah, if you don't know what the hell you're doing, yeah, they will. They will. Now, in fact, um, I remember in Germany, of course, you know, they're all in the Euro now, right? But when I was over there, it was on a Marx system. They had Marx, German Marx and all this other stuff. That was uh, before we went into the first Gulf War. Now Gideon is gonna start cracking jokes instead, prehistoric and shit. He you know, steal pot. <laughs> Gideon he just goes in when he hear this shit, boy. 
<laughs> Damn, man, somebody got to be old. How your ass get here? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you understand know what I mean? Damn. But um, in every generation, especially one is like, I'm going to say 20 years in front of you. So you put a generation 20 years in front of you. I know it's probably 40. Ain't a generation like 40 years? Yeah. You put like Four. two score, yeah. So you, you let's just say you put 20. Man, learn from those and then improve on that so you can prove on your position with your sons and your daughters going forward. We don't need stuff declining no more than what it is because we're in a shit house right now. If y'all don't bring a right to see from the people that he's bringing in here that's born again right now, where are you going to get it from? He's already done called it. Where are you going to get it from? It's got to come from us that's keeping his commandments, yes, who he has given us his spirit yes, and caused us to be born again. Yes, sir. It's got to come from us. Hallelujah. Time is right. Y'all getting this right? Yes, sir. We need a righteous seed, man. Yes, sir. There are a few righteous Israelite women in the ministry that they truly want to be saddled up to a righteous man. They truly do. Follow my lead. We'll get a righteous seed. We will. And y'all will be glorified. Hallelujah. Let's be patient. Mind you, I was married to Mother Carol for 40 something years before I got a second wife. So just wait. Man, there's something going on with me, though, man. I see my shit declining, and yet and still everybody be looking for my ass. I'm like, what is going on here? What is all this that is going on today? <laughs> all right, Israel. Y'all got anything? We good? Hallelujah. All right, Israel. Hey, I hope y'all was encouraged tonight. Yes, yes sir. And if anything, this is a broadcast to be listened to again. Yes. Oh, yeah. It really truly to remind us yeah. where we need to be at. Yeah. This is a beautiful broadcast. Yes, sir. Y'all agree? Yes, y'all agree it's beautiful. Yes, man, yes, beautiful broadcast, man. We need stuff like this. Yes. So Israel, we'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Be the Father's will, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Summer, Iskaya, Tia. Y'all hold the fort down. Man, I love y'all so much. Hey, I bless y'all in the sweet presence. Y'all sure y'all got nothing? Strong and victorious might overcome the name of our soon coming king, y'all sure the Hamas Yak. See y'all tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Be there. The king is coming. Uh-oh, look at him looking.